Hi everyone, my name is Miss Zoe and I own Tiny Toes Ballet Carmarthen. Now ever since I was a little girl I have always, always loved to do cooking and baking. And since we've been in lockdown I have been doing even more cooking and baking because I haven't been able to go anywhere just like you. So one of my very favourite things to make are cornflake cakes. So today that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making a mixture of white chocolate cornflakes and milk chocolate cornflake cakes. And then we're going to put them together and turn them into the very hungry caterpillar. <gasps> How exciting is that? Now then, you should have all received an ingredients list before we got started. If not, I'm going to go through what you need now, okay, and how much of everything you need. So our main ingredient in cornflake cakes is, of course, cornflakes. So we need 100 grams of cornflakes together, and we're going to put 50 grams in one bowl and 50 grams in the other bowl, because we're going to keep them separate, ready to make them two different kinds. We also need 25 grams of butter in one bowl. And then we need 25 grams of butter in another bowl. We need at least 50 grams of milk chocolate. But if you like your cornflake cakes to be a little bit more chocolatey, I know I do, I would put maybe about 75 grams in. So I've measured out 75 grams of milk chocolate in here. And then I have done the same and measured out 75 grams of white chocolate in this bowl here. You will also need golden syrup just to make it a little bit more sticky so that um, all of your cornflake cakes and your chocolate all come together really, really nicely. I'm also going to be decorating mine with chocolate buttons. So I've got some white chocolate buttons here and some milk chocolate buttons here. It doesn't matter how much of those you have. Okay, are we ready to get started? I can't wait. So first thing that we need to do is melt our chocolate. Now it's really, really important when we melt our chocolate that we combine the butter and the chocolate together and melt them at the same time so that our chocolate doesn't overheat and go all um, crumbly and go all hard. So we need a microwave safe jug. So Miss always gonna melt all of her um, chocolate in her microwave. You can, with a grown-up's help, do it on your hob in a saucepan if you want to, um, but I'm going to be doing mine in a microwave today. So I've already measured out all of our ingredients, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop them into our microwave safe jug. And to do this, I will need a spoon to help me. So I've got my microwave safe jug here, and first of all, I'm going to put my 25 grams of butter in there scrape it in there we go make sure it's all in now then my hands are nice and clean so i can use my finger to um push that little bit of butter in make sure you wash your hands before you start it and then i'm going to go ahead and put my 75 grams of white chocolate buttons in next so if you can if you've got the setting on your microwave i'm going to put mine in on a medium heat for 30 seconds. If you don't have that setting on your microwave, don't worry, you can put yours in for 10 seconds um, and then take them out and have a little look how melted they are, or you can put them in for 20 seconds and then take them out. So what you're gonna aim to do is put them in for about 30 seconds on a medium heat. You might have to put them in a tiny little bit longer, it depends. So I'm going to I've combined all of my ingredients and now I'm going to pop them in the microwave. So here is my very trusty microwave. I press the button and open it all up and then I'm going to pop my white chocolate buttons and my butter inside. I'm going to close the door and then I'm going to pop it on its medium setting for about 30 seconds. So medium setting, 30 seconds and go. Now while we're doing that, what we can be doing is popping our butter and our milk chocolate together ready to go in when that one's finished. So I've got my butter here, 25 grams again, and I've got my spoon to help me get it in. Like so. Make sure you scrape it so you get all of the butter you need in there. And I can use my fingers because they're still nice and clean to push it in. 
make sure I'm using all of my butter. And then I need to put in my 75 grams of milk chocolate in there as well. Lovely. And again, this one is another microwave safe jug. They're made of Pyrex. Um, so those ones are going to be nice and um, safe for you. So now our microwave has pinged. So let's have a look and see how melted our milk, our white chocolate buttons are. So let's have a little look. Oh, can you see that? Not quite ready yet. So what I'm going to do is take my spoon, give it a big mix, see if I can help it. Oh, there we go. Some of it is a little bit more melted now. So what I'm going to do then is pop it back in just for a little bit longer. So on a medium heat, again, I'm going to put it in for 10 seconds this time and see if that helps. On my medium heat for 10 seconds this time, just to give it that little push. So I've got these in here and then once our white chocolate buttons are all melted, we're going to put our milk chocolate ones in and then we're going to combine them with the corn. Oh, how exciting. So I'm going to ping again. Let's have a little look. Are our white chocolate buttons nearly ready? I think so. Let's give them a little mix just to make sure. Oh, look at that. Give them a big mix to get rid of any lumps. There we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to pop my milk chocolate ones in. Again, on a medium heat for 30 seconds to start with. There we go. So while we're waiting for our milk chocolate buttons, to, uh, milk chocolate chunks to melt, I'm going to pour our white chocolate ones in two hour cornflake cakes. There we go. In there. And then what I need to do is pop my golden syrup. Now we need one and a half teaspoons of golden syrup in here. So I'm going to measure up oh, one and a half tablespoons even. Sorry, missing a big mistake then. So we're going to measure out. We're going to squeeze it into our tablespoon now i'm using measuring keys you don't have to you can use just a tablespoon if you want and then i've got a little teaspoon to help me scrape anything extra in so there's one and then my half teeth my half um tablespoon which is a teaspoon in here just like that. Scrape it in. There we go. And that's all done. So then I'm going to pop these in a bowl. Leave them for later because I'm going to need them for my milk chocolate ones as well. So with my wooden mixing spoon, I'm now going to mix all the chocolate and all the cornflakes together in the middle. Just like this. There you go, keep mixing them. See if you can get the chocolate to coat all of the cornflakes. Look at that. Oh, that's coming together so nicely. I can't wait to see how it turns out. So we're going to keep mixing it like this. Try and get it all together, all of those cornflakes nice and coated. Just like that there we go so i'm going to leave that one there then to set a minute just like this and then i'm going to pop what's left of my um my empty jug just over to the side there because we don't need it anymore and i'm going to get my cornflakes ready for my milk chocolate so let's go ahead and give this one a mix as well see how we're getting on so i've got my teaspoon and uh, my spoon here Give it a nice big mix, see how well they've melted. Oh, perfect, they've all melted. First time. Excellent. Beautiful, look at that, lovely and silky smooth. So I'm gonna take my cornflakes now then, and then I'm gonna pour this all in. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful, so I'm gonna keep using my spoon 
to scrape out all what's left of the chocolate so they don't miss any. A little bit more in there. Lovely. Just like that. And I'm going to pop that to the side because I don't need it anymore. So we don't need you to take up space. And then I need to measure out my golden syrup again. So one and a half. So one tablespoon. Here we go. I'm going to use my little spoon to help me scrape it all out. Just like this. Scrape it all into the bowl. Make sure I'm not missing any. There we go. And then my half tablespoon, which is a teaspoon. This measuring key here. And I'm going to squeeze that in. Just like so. Tip it all in. Just like that. And then I'm just going to scrape here. All done. So we're going to pop them in a bowl because we don't need them anymore. And we're going to use our wooden spoon to mix it all in and make sure that we're getting all our cornflakes nice and coated in our lovely melted chocolate. And then they're going to be so chocolatey. Wow. Put that back in there. Not nearly lost a bit. Mix that all in. Lovely. There we go, and that's done. I'm going to lick my fingers. Oh, that's the best bit about cooking. <laughs> so, I have already laid out my cupcake cases. And I'm doing mine in a red and green because that is the colour of a very hungry caterpillar. Now, that very hungry caterpillar is going to be so, so pleased when he sees all of our cakes. I'm sure he's going to eat them all up. So first of all, I'm going to put the white chocolate cornflake cakes into the uh, into the green um, cupcake cases. So off we go. I'm going to use my spoon like this, and I'm just going to spoon them on, just like this, my little spoon, and then I'm going to push them in with the bottom of my little spoon like this. Now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do one spoon at a time. So one spoon first and then I'm going to go back with anything that I've got left over and then fill in the gaps, make them a little bit bigger. Push them in like that. And we're going to keep going, same method. Push it onto your spoon like this and then push it off with the back of your little spoon and then push them in to the cupcake cases. So let's keep going. We've got three more to fill and then we can go back. Oh, lost a bit. My nice clean fingers can pick it up. Just like that. Here we go. One spoon. Push it in. And last one. Push it in. Now that we've got a little bit left, so I'm just going to go in. Check which ones of my cakes are a little bit smaller than the others. And then I'm going to put a little bit extra of my cornflake mixture in. Just like so. Now we don't need to use the big spoon for that because we've only got a little tiny bit left. Here we go. Push it in here. That's it. Keep going over to this one. Push it in. We've got to make sure that it's all... Nice and tight together. And in here. One more. Or two more even. There we go. The last one there. A little bit extra conflicts in there. I'm just going to top them up. There we go. Tiny bit more. This one. There we go. And look at that, they're nearly ready to go in the fridge to set. So just a little bit more here in this one because he's a little bit small. And there you have it. That is all your uh, white chocolate ones done. So 
time for our milk chocolate ones now we're going to go in with our big spoon and then we're going to use our little spoon to push them in there we go push them to our red cases next one so it's exactly the same thing again just popping them onto the spoon and with your slightly smaller spoon you're just going to push them off and in so we're going to do the same again where we do one spoon for each cupcake case and then we're going to go back in and then fill in any little gaps we've got or if we've got a slightly smaller one we're going to give it a little bit extra there we go okay so we've got a couple that need um a little bit more so i'm just going to go in with my slightly smaller spoon this time and fill up those ones and then i'm going to push them all down like so and then this one there we go i can use my fingers to help because your fingers will be nice and clean because don't forget you wash them at the beginning didn't you there we go in there a little bit more in this one because he's a bit small so push it all down to make sure that it touches the bottom of our cupcake case keep going because we're nearly there and then we can put them in the fridge ready for them to set and then we can eat them we're gonna make sure that we eat them just before the hungry caterpillar does otherwise there won't be any left there we go in there one last little spoonful just in this one and there we go they are all filled up so i can lick my fingers again that's miss zoe's favorite part now all our cupcake cases are full with our cornflake mixture but we need to decorate them so i am going to use my milk chocolate buttons on my white chocolate cupcakes our conflict cakes and i'm just going to pop them in the top and push them down like this there we go lovely and then my white chocolate ones are going to go in the middle of my milk chocolate cakes just like so and they're ready so the next thing we need to do is pop them in the fridge because that's how they're going to set before we can eat them so i'm just going to pop these ones here move this out the way ready to arrange them then when they're done on my big board so these ones are going in the fridge now. So I'm going to open up my fridge door, but Miss Ali has had a little bit of a blue Peter moment. And I made some earlier to show you how they're going to look when they're finished, which are in my fridge. I'm just going to take them out. Then I'm going to pop these ones in so that these ones can set. Now they are going in my fridge. And they're going to go in my fridge for about half an hour until they are nice and cold. Can you see them? Now then, our very, very hungry caterpillar is ready. So we're going to arrange them just like a caterpillar, like this. This is why Miss Zoe's done them in all different colours. So we're going to have a very, very wiggly caterpillar. Just like this. So we're going to arrange them one after each other you don't have to do this i'm just doing this for fun here we go we're nearly there and he's going to end with a little green tail like this wow now my finishing touch to make sure that he looks just like a caterpillar he needs some eyes so i'm going to use my marshmallow jar to take out two white little mini marshmallows and then I pop them just here on the front of my caterpillar, like this, he can stay there. That's it, just like that, pop the lid back on. And there we have it, everyone. Here 
are our cupcake, our cornflake caterpillars, just like the very hungry caterpillar. Can you see? Oh, I'm gonna push them off. <laughs> there we go, everyone. I have absolutely loved doing my baking with you today, and I really, really hope you enjoyed the video and the recipe and I hope that you all really like it when they're set so don't forget they are going in Miss Zoe's fridge for half an hour that's 30 minutes and then you can take them out and you can eat as many as you like but ask mummy and daddy's first maybe <laughs> okay thank you so much for baking with me everyone and I can't wait to see you all soon and hopefully we'll be able to dance together very very shortly okay bye everyone